with this power mill quick tip video what we're going to go ahead and take a look at is how to properly adjust and set our tilt axis on our fifth axis part that we have here on the screen now i've created a z level finishing operation here in which case i'm going to finish kind of the bottom portion of this wall on the inside edge and if we look at our part here on this back end you can see that this wall is tapered so I'm finishing around that and I want to finish around it in a fifth axis motion now with the default settings for the toolpath if I look at my toolpath here at my tool axis I have it set to vertical now with this set what we'll clearly see if I simulate this from a certain portion of the toolpath here you'll see that it's colliding so what we actually want to do is machine this in a fifth axis motion what we can do is activate and use power mills automatic collision avoidance and we'll keep the colliding surfaces colliding sections which means that it will it will tilt itself away and properly calculate this toolpath so that the tilt angle will automatically move away With that calculated, what we can see now, if we simulate the toolpath, and I'll speed it up so that it's quite quick, is that it will try to use three axes to a certain point, and where it needs to start tilting, it'll tilt away. Now this isn't exactly what I want, as the rotational axis on this thing are pinging back and forth uh, between each other on the C and the B axis, and what I would rather do is kind of control the direction this gets machined in. But what using the automatic collision avoidance did for me is now I can come and I can select the toolpath where it is angling and actually get my machine's angle information from my machine tool in my file. So if I go to my positions option in my machine tool, I can see that in order to effectively clear the wall here with the tool, I need a B-axis tilt angle of roughly 25 degrees. So what I can do in my toolpath is come back into my settings. I'll recycle the toolpath. Come down to my tool axis. And instead of my tool axis being set to vertical and having it automatically avoid, I can turn that off and turn on lead lean. Now my lead angle is going to be my rotational angle. My lean angle is going to be my B axis. So here is where I would want to put in my 25 degrees. And I know that that's the positive direction because I checked that in the machine tool. With that set to 25 degrees, I'll go ahead and recalculate this toolpath. Now if I simulate this toolpath, we'll see the motion that we're looking for, which locks the B axis more at 25 degrees and rotates the C axis and uses the XY. This optimizes the fifth axis motion of the toolpath and gives us a cleaner, more fluent transition between rotational position. I hope you found this quick tip video helpful. Thank you for watching.